Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, I may have made a few mistakes. Um, <clears throat> one of those mistakes was not realizing that not all the maps have garages. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure the guys that actually have been playing this more than I have are, are going like, well, duh, and have been going like that for the last uh, few episodes. And I'm sorry, but I make these episodes in advance. And I, if you wrote in, in like a previous episode's description that I'm retarded and that I really uh, should not look, be looking for uh, any garages on Island Lake or Drummond Island, well, that's why I'm coming to realization just now. Well, for anyone else that's uh, in the dark like I was, uh, if you go to Black River on the, on the global map, you'll see like garage opened. Cool. If you go to Smithville Dam, garage opened. Cool. Um, aside, also cargo info, knowing what uh, you you can get from that uh, zone. But if you go to like Island Lake, hmm, the garage icon is crossed out. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, same thing here, if you go to Dr uh, Drummond Island, hmm, this is crossed out. So, uh, basically, Smithville Dam works as uh, more or less your central hub once you get out of the starter Black Island, Black River, sorry. And uh, pretty much from that point onward, from this... Uh, service hub slash garage uh, here, you will be doing your entire uh, trip, your entire job, entire workload, your entire livelihood in Michigan will be based more or less off of this garage. That actually puts a fair bit of things in perspective for me because um, I actually have to think about fuel now. I mean, I do recover a lot, don't get me wrong, sure. But uh, I kind of need to start placing fuel trucks. <laughs> I mean, okay, for Drowned Island, let's say we're pretty fine with the trailer store here, as well as I think it has a fuel station somewhere. I think I read somewhere that it has a fuel station. But the map which we are in right now, um, Island Lake, does not. Um, also, I've had a bit of a look and... These uh, quests are in a sort of a line. So, for example, to, to do, let's say, out with the old, right? Uh, no, sorry, to do, yeah, harbor delivery. Correct, sorry. To do out with the old, we need to do uh, harbor delivery. To do harbor delivery, we need to do instruments of development. To do instruments of development, we need to do lumber mill rival and power lines, which are part of Husky Forwarding. So, uh, Lover Mill Revival and Power Lines. For both of these, we need to do Winter Stores. And to do Winter Stores, guess what? We need to do Not a Drill, which is the one, the first thing we had available and we kept off doing for so long. So, uh, at this point, minus uh, Fuel Order and The Essentials, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, fuel order and the essentials. Um, everything else is in a lineup. I mean, there's a progression to it uh, that we have to go through to be able to actually complete all of these, which is interesting. Uh, what's also interesting is that given the fact that at this point we have no access to anything else in regards to you know this map, I, uh, <laughs> my little fleet star with, uh, what's it, 140, 180 liters of fuel now gets uh, an interesting concept of what I should be doing. I mean, uh, it does make sense for me at this point to strive to unlock some of these uh, bridges, but it's not something I can realistically do right now, even if I do get up here. So, um, here's what's going to be happening for this episode. I know I've been talking for uh, like five minutes already and I don't want to bore you guys, but it'd be such an eye-opener for me at this point because it 
makes the game seem bigger and I'll need to do more actual logistics and I'll feel less bad about you know just recovering every time. So uh, here's what's going to be happening. Let, we'll be going up here, uh, activating this if it needs to be activated and getting into that watchtower. And then of course we'll be recovering and we'll be making a bit of a longer term plan in regards to um, the game and what, what we want to do in here. I mean, we can totally just buzz off to Alaska or something by this point, but uh, just finding all of these uh, things out is pretty cool for me. So, and it actually allows me to, you know, plan stuff out and by this point I actually know how much fuel every truck, I mean, my trucks at the least, uh, use and how much it would uh, require and where do I need to put my refueling points and I have the money to actually put down uh, trucks, sorry, uh, trailers, refueling trailers everywhere, which is pretty cool. up with extra fuel we can go back in this map go to the trailer pick up uh, a service trailer go back here fix that one up that um, twin steer then sell it off well take it back to the garage and then sell it off and then sell out actually I can just leave the trailer it's service trailer I mean it'd be a nice idea to leave a service trailer out here okay, rest the legacy Oh, actually, yeah, this was the one to retrieve the, um, yeah, to retrieve the, um, the Chevrolet here. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's uh, just grab this thing out of the water quick enough. get this out might as well we're exactly right truck here and we're in the exactly right position to do this so might as well get this done while we can okay, let's drop that out Let's continue scouting. I mean, given what we know now, it's been a fantastic idea for me to actually scout with uh, this truck instead of the Chevrolet. Because I can actually get far enough in to actually matter. Instead of just, you know, doing some short spikes of uh, 80 liters of fuel. And yeah, fuel efficiency matters a lot more now. If I have to, you know, go from one end of a map to like two maps away, for sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wasn't getting bored of a SnowRunner, but it just puts it into such a perspective that uh, I really like it a lot more. Okay, this just uh, unlocked a hell of a lot of map, but didn't really do anything for me. So, uh, let's do this. Let's return here, let's grab that rusty legacy, let's go down here, uh, let's return all the way back to here, then get back, uh, pass by the trailer store, grab a trailer, and from that point onwards we'll see what they're going to be doing, because we actually will have enough, uh, once we're at the trailer store we're going to uh, refuel, and... Um, we can refuel and repair. Mm, I mean, knowing that now, it just it seems maybe a bit cheesy that we can do that. Mm. I mean, that we can re repair and refuel at the trailer station. I've been, you know, kind of abusing that just because her dirt, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, logistics. Because, you know, 
I didn't think it would be, it were a big deal or part of the design principle of the game. But now that I know differently, um, it kind of makes me feel bad knowing that I, you know, abuse it. So we'll see how we'll progress with that in the future. You're coming with me. Actually, uh, yeah, how about you do come with me, but how about you come with me uh, like this? Okay. Oh god, stop spamming me with your start engine. It's our four wheel drive, unless we really need it, but as per usual, whenever I say that, I need it. Like now. It would have been different if I would have uh, always active differential lock. Uh, I I think I would have used I would use less uh, all wheel drive if I had that option. But this is just not that truck. I'll have to go through my truck list uh, and see what we need. What uh, we have enough money to actually buy. I think about two trucks worth, and that's also having sp uh, some spare change, especially after I uh, fix this one up. Which I don't, I don't think I'm going to be using that. That's purely a cargo hauler, and it's, as far as I know, it's not meant for off road. It's more like a, an on road kind of thing. But it does have off road tires on it, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. In any case, uh, Let's just uh, bring this car back, for complete that quest, then um, head back to the trailer store. I think I should have enough uh, fuel for that. I mean, kind of makes me interested to see how Alaska and uh, Russia are set up. Alaska are pretty much the same setup, I think, as as. Um, Michigan, we have like a central hub, and I think you have like two areas which are interconnected. Um, but Russia is like three maps in a row, and I kind of think you only have a garage in the first one, and you just have to deal <laughs> for the other two, which is uh, pretty interesting. Given all of that, that I know now, I think I will uh, start to make excursions to find the upgrades that I need for my trucks. Can't really... I don't think I can really afford to have inefficient trucks or not what I need, especially as stuff will start to get uh, really quite hard later on. already had a few areas and a few little routes where I'm kind of dreading pulling cargo through. And I've seen the power of some of the later game trucks in some YouTube videos. They can really, really do some truly horrible things. And uh, I kind of need some of that horribleness <laughs> were I to want to tackle the end game in this. Know, stuff like just fording through the middle of a river with a full cab just underwater and stuff like that. this guy's uh, <laughs> well just seeing that getting dragged along like empty fish, empty fish? I was gonna say something with fish but 
think the fish came out. Like dead fish? Dead fish, there we go. Ooh boy, that's quite the beater. If I'd known, I would have left it out there. Well, since you already brought it back, I'll see if I can get it running again. Thanks, anyway. Okay, cool. You're welcome, dude. Let's um, head to that trailer. We get ourselves this. Actually, yeah, I can. Can I get this, this maintenance trailer? I need the one that actually has a lot of uh, repair. Yeah, I think I get like a maintenance sim uh, semi trailer. We'll see. Oh, easy, easy, easy there. If nothing else, tipping over, rolling over a truck, knowing what I know now is. Wow. I mean, it was hard enough getting a support truck in Smithville, you know, when I had literally the garage there. But getting support trucks like two maps away, uh, wow. That's truly something. Let's uh, turn around. Ooh, easy there. Smack that. Okay, trailer store. Uh, can we get... A... So, a maintenance trailer. A service trailer comes with uh, just repair. So, we're gonna get the maintenance trailer. I'm actually gonna uh, repair. And we're actually gonna refuel. We're gonna be selling this. I'm gonna be buying it. Okay. And then we are going to be delivering this all the way back to where we just came from. And again, I apologize to everyone that, that uh, has been screaming at the screen. There's no garage there. What are you looking for? I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of glad uh, that the Fleet Star has solidly managed to go through the off-road sections here. Kind of wish maybe it would have been ever slightly better. I, I don't know how it handles with cargo. I guess that's what we're going to be seeing right now. In the end, we need something that can reliably haul a trailer and or, and or maybe uh, two units of cargo through thick mud without too much of an issue. That's our goal for a truck right now. I don't want to get bogged down in uh, mud trying to get somewhere. Ooh. The next left. I mean, for sure we cannot afford getting bogged down, we cannot afford rolling over. I'll be making a little t uh, TXT document just to write down the order of uh, the missions. But I think I think that we should uh, postpone doing them still until we've uh, fully uh, uncovered the maps and fully uh, made them accessible, like you know, bridges and stuff. Gonna be a truly, gonna be truly a pain. Yes, actually, we might not. Uh, one of those things that we have to do, if I'm not mistaken, from diesel diesel is lumber mill revival, right? Which revives this lumber mill. And once we have that, we can tr we can just easily make all the bridges without hauling stuff from out of the land. Uh, so this needs two concrete blocks and a metal beam. Okay, cool. And a curtain side trailer, which is in like Smithsville, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, uh, we should probably 
and but to get there, yeah, of course we have to do some other things. So I'll try and make a TXC document and see what's the order of uh, process of stuff that we may want to do. I mean, we're already level 8, so we have completed that first uh, requirement. start the entire rest of the process. Okay. Look at that, we're actually making good progress here. Of course we're forcing full with all-wheel drive, but oh well. Again, to be fair, if the game developers didn't want us to use the trailer stores as, you know, refueling and stash repairing stations, I guess they wouldn't. They shouldn't have made the um, the tra trailers viable from there. I mean, it made entire sense to be able to only buy uh, the fuel trailers from like a, a fuel depot or something, uh, and maybe you know buying the maintenance trailers from the service stations they wanted to really do it like that but I don't know I guess the fact that they lay, uh, leave, the net, leave it in wow uh, it's late over here and apparently my speech is getting uh, it's getting really slouchy but yeah you get my point if they really wanted to make it uh, like that they would have had they would have just designed the game a bit different not leave it as an option okay let's stop here let's repair so we're repairing from the maintenance trailer we're repairing the western star holy shit that needs 608 repair points wow that's a problem because we just okay <laughs> we need more refuel uh Okay, the maintenance trailer has enough to actually fuel this, so that's not a problem. Okay, we're gonna leave the maintenance trailer here, just as a mobile refueling point for this area of the map. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna drop it there. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, the detached trailer. Now, can we change the truck? Nope, we cannot. We actually have to full repair this. Oh, wow. That's annoying. Okay, um, so. Basically, we need another... Let's double check. Oh, well, I cannot see it because we have no longer have any repair points. But yeah, basically, it needs another... 200 something per point, basically another service trailer here to be able to fully repair it. Ish. Well, it shouldn't be that huge of a deal because if we're gonna bring in, gonna be bringing another service trailer here, we can totally uh, take it. I mean, take the extra service trailer and move it um, up here somewhere. So it's not gonna be entirely wasted. But yeah, you guys get, get my point. Were the designers figuring out that they would want to, you know, make this map uh, only accessible, like, you know, with Uber logistics? I don't think that they put the trailer store there. I mean, that's a bit superfluous. It's enough that you don't have a garage here, so you can't uh, easily swap vehicles. And more importantly, you know, just get free fuel per each vehicle is to get the free fuel through the uh, sorry through the um, fuel trailers sure but I guess it's uh, I, 
I mean, I guess the whole difference between what you can get there and what you uh, can do with uh, a garage is customizing your vehicles. That's really and truly the only thing you can do in um, the, a service trader or like any kind of trader. I don't think anyone else is actually bothering to look too much into the morality of whether and you know the doilist view of what the designer's mind wanted instead of what possibilities are in universe because in universe some dudes have some extra traders and they're just giving them to us and of course fuel and repairs are free for some reason so we're living like in some tra trader truck uh, utopia Again, to be fully fair, uh, were I to, you know, were this trader store not to be here, were I to want to roleplay that I'm getting fuel tankers from um, another part of the map, right? I mean, I'm not sure exactly how much I would uh, be getting out of that experience. Basically, I was just making trips from Smithville and not, not, not even to anywhere deep in this map, you know? I've just been making trips from Smithville to uh, the entrance of each of the maps, and more or less that's that. I'm not going to be bothering actually leaving tr uh, traders too deep in. But given the fact that we actually have these available here, and they're close enough, I'm just going to use it. Okay, so we get another maintenance trader, so we can drop that one up there uh, actually let me look how much so a fuel cure trailer is 2000 right and a maintenance trailer is 2000 and some so minus the cost itself it's almost always recommended to get the maintenance trailer and we do have um, an oil fuel don't we have a hmm, weird I thought we had an, a, a bit, an even bigger trailer a fuel trailer, but can't we get it with this? Or it's weird. I thought for sure that we had uh, the ability to get like a huge hulking tanker. Oh, or can't you get those from trader stores? And you actually have to get those from uh, from the um, garage. I mean, in that case, that would make entire sense for the design document. To be fair, I mean, that would make entire sense that you can only get these, you know, smaller trailers, not the huge uh, 5,000 liter ones. And if you want to grab 5,000 liters, you have to actually bring it from your garage or I think maybe the fuel station. I don't think I saw, seen the possibility to get trailers at fuel stations, but. You know, I'm, at this point, I'm getting more comfortable with the concept of uh, just grabbing these uh, tankers, these cheap trailer tankers from the supply. I'll have to check. I'll have to check at the garage if uh, that's the case. Because it doesn't matter if I, if I have a small... Sorry, uh... Low or high saddle, uh, it, it still showed me all the options. It, it just literally said you cannot use this because you do not have the the right saddle, right? It doesn't it didn't outright just not show me the options available. So am I going the right way? I mean, I'm just going by. Uh, muscle memory by this point. Yeah, we are. 
Uh, again, sorry if this episode wasn't very exciting, guys. Uh, I know we pretty much was spent 30 minutes just going down this road, <laughs> then there and back uh, twice. But I hope, uh, at the very least, the conversation, well, the discussion, well, the one-sided monologue was uh, interesting enough. I mean, for me, I'm really, really into game design and what do you, what do you want to make people do? What do you want to make people want in your game? Which is some pretty cool... Uh, concepts and ideas for me. That's why I always uh, take the very doylist approach, the out-of-universe approach, and I don't find much value in a broken in-universe explanation. I got like uh, concrete slabs, the actual items. Could I just drop them over the mud? And would that actually form impromptu bridges? I kind of don't think so. I think it just float over the mud because they don't really have any weight. Do you actually put them on your truck? You don't really interact with the uh, environment. Probably use a, a secondary tanker, one of these secondary tankers, just drag them up to the edge of the map once we have more of it unlocked and uh, have a direct route up there because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my biggest issue in regards to refueling when we we'll actually have to go up there and then come back down because this is some pretty mucky terrain and it takes a lot of fuel to go through it. It's not easy. Okay, on the right path. Will we go faster with low? No, we won't. So yeah, let's stick with auto unless we really need to. We have the um, max tires for this. We have the um, we have the off-road tires for this. So this will not be getting any better in regards to traction on ground until maybe I don't know we get the, the right gearbox for it. Okay, let's leave this here. Let's uh, repair the uh, maintenance trailer, the Twin Star F. That completed it. That gave us the truck itself. Check it out. This old girl still has some life left in her. After all, <laughs> we can find the van, but nobody's gonna miss an old heap anyway. Finders keepers, I always say. Cool. That's some XP. That's some cash. Um, let's refuel. Actually, let's refuel from the twin star to to the fleet star. Let's drop this, this trailer. Um, let's change trucks, switch to the western star. Let's refuel and refuel from uh, from the fleet star. 
please. Oh, I cannot refuel into the tankers. That's weird. Okay, yeah, this can barely get get this stuff out of here. Okay, what's the problem here? I'm not seeing it move at all. Oh, there we go. Okay, sure. Of course, this is pretty stock. I'm, uh, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Um, okay, so let's. Uh... Yeah, I can't. By the way, is the Fleet Star still running? Yeah, it, it is still running, so let's uh, stop the engine. There you go. No, stop the engine, I said. Okay. Uh, e, change truck, Western Star. Oh, the differential locks stay active? Weird. In any way, shape, or form. Yeah, let's just uh, recover this. Smithfield Down Garage, yes. And while we're here, we can do a quick checkup uh, regarding the trailer thing we mentioned earlier. Okay, let's just look through customization options just quickly enough. Ooh. Wow, so they have some pretty strong engines. But this wasn't enough to get out of that muck on its own, but okay. Um, balance gearbox, it does have a race suspension if we really need to, but that's probably in Alaska. It can, ooh, it can fit off-road tires. Sorry, your mud tires. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Oh, and it comes uh, stock with a heavy winch. Ooh, 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 cool. This is cool. Hmm, interesting truck. I might still use it for things. I think. So, what, what's its stock right now? It's all terrain, right? So, why is that. Stock off-roads is rank 11, okay, and mud tires are rank 13, got it, and we can't put in the 63 huge inches, hmm, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna keep this truck uh, in the back of my mind, it seems like a pretty ridiculously solid truck, we're not gonna bother with it exactly right now, we are gonna be taking out the, actually customizing this, just to make sure it's in the same, uh, ballpark. I'm going to be putting a low saddle on it. Let's remove the loading crane, right? Uh, and let's uh, leave the garage. Let's just check what trailer options we have here. If here we have options to get those ridiculous uh, huge trailers. Fuel carrier. Yeah, there we go. Fuel carrier semi-trailer. And some, you know, gooseneck Stemmy trailers. Yeah, for sure. Right, so uh, this is an option that's only available here, and I think maybe, maybe, maybe at the at the fueling stations. So it's all good. Uh, it's fair for us to actually use the the trailers in those uh, fuel storage. I'm sorry, in those uh, trailer stores. Anyways, this episode has been getting a bit long. Uh, I hope it's been interesting, if not super entertaining. Uh, either way, I hope you guys, if you liked this episode, click that uh, like, click that subscribe. I'm going to be putting up uh, daily uh, SnowRunner episodes uh, for as long as I will like the game. But so far, it's it's. I'm like episode, what, 40? Are we reaching episode 40? We are almost reaching episode 40. And I'm getting even more excited about the game at this point. Uh, so take from that what you will. In any case, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.